Okay, before this starts, I am not in trouble with the law. I'll explain later. As I find myself locked out of a friend's dorm room with my ID in the hands of a police officer, I can't help but laugh. It's actually quite easy to see the comedy in it. It kind of punches you right in the face. I am locked out and the police are involved. I know in due time this will be a distant, strange memory, one I might even tell my kids about depending on how the rest of the night goes. Lately I've just been drifting through this dream. Hey Laura, it's Nick. Um, I came to check on the Lubart Zoo and it seems that the chain is on the door. I have the key that unlocks it, but I can't open the door. Uh, I don't know what you want me to do because you said the garage was being wonky. Um, I guess get back to me. Bye-bye. Uh, My time at work today left me feeling full of energy. Someone down the hallway from me is wishing for this girl to notice his final words, but as usual she doesn't. We always seem to miss the last ones. I'm still quite amazed that I have the time to write this and my problems have not been solved. I shouldn't have pushed the limits of this evening, but I did. And here I am, locked out with my identification in the hands of a police officer. Well, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I'm stemming away from the films, but not to say they won't come back. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. I just really appreciate it. I'm sorry for asking, but I asked. Get over it. A huge thank you to my good friend, Nick Tobiasen. You can check out two of our other films. We did a film called Sidekick for Hire. We also did a film called Recoil. Both got into festivals. I went to visit my friend Grace at SUNY Purchase, and on the way in, police officers were like, do you have a guest pass? And I was like, guest pass and they were like yeah you need a guest pass give us your ID go get a guest pass come back with your guest pass and you can get your ID so I go to find my friend Grace but I'm locked out of her dorm so I sat down wrote a poem I eventually got the ID back when I found Grace I went out to shoot some footage for that poem that I wrote while being locked out and me and Nick actually got locked out so parallels are real we're all dying I'll see you next Wednesday